to Light Magic Tarot. Ow! This is going to be the collective reading for my fire signs for the month of March 2021. All right, so um, as we know, time is fluid, so this is going to be relevant when you see this. See this. Um, could have happened already, could currently be happening. Um, it could easily be one of those situations where it's going to happen in the future. Take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, drop it, leave it right where the fuck it's at. Um, if it, if it doesn't resonate, check out your moon sign, check out your rising sign and even your Venus sign. Okay. Uh, what else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please take the time to like the video, share it if you feel like it could help somebody. And if you're not, um, subscribed to the channel, take the time out to click the subscribe button. Um, if you want to book a personal reading, information is going to be below this video. If you're on IG and you're watching this, please check out my profile, DM me, we'll set something up, or you can go to my website at www.lightmagictarot.com. Other than that, we can get into it. We can get to it. Um, okay, so for my fire signs, let me talk to you guys. I don't even know if I want to tell you about the song that I channel or if I just want to tell you how we're going to set up the reading. So I'm going to pull energy cards um, just to check out some of the major themes that are going to be like surfacing during this month. Um, I'll clarify with a little bit of tarot and then I'll divvy up into each of the signs. So I'll start with fire sign, uh, fire signs. Sorry, with Aries. Then I'll go to Leo. And then I'll finish up with Sagittarius, okay, for the month. Um, goodness. That's basically it. But the song I heard, like, y'all kicking it, y'all partying. What it is, Hope, what's up? Can I get in no goods? <laughs> like, where the party at, uh, Fire Sign? What's up? I'm ready to kick it, too. I can tell that y'all, you, you back on your whole shit. You back on your bullshit, okay? That's what that sounds like. And that's fine with me because I know that there's a time for relationships and there's a time to just not do a shit at all. And that seems like where you at with it. You like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Sure, I'll fuck you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I didn't even get to say anything. So here's our angels, ancestors, spirit guys, any other divine light beings with the fire sign collectives. That's interesting. Hand, what are the major themes that they'll be? See, I knew it. Celebration card came out that they'll be facing during this month. What are the major themes that they'll be facing during this month? Ooh, y'all guys popping, popping. Y'all ready to kick it? Mm -hmm. I can tell. A lot of uh, uh, fire signs. You guys are antsy, ready to go. You social butterflies, you. Ready to pop off. All right, so, ooh. All right, so you're starting off the month coming out of uh, out of very transformative energy, okay? You see all this fire, all this passion around it? Um, this is transformative energy. This is changing how you um, go about your daily function, um, how you talk to people, how you dress. There's just a big transformation, and it's done from a space of extreme passion. It's sort of kind of like you're reinventing yourself. Maybe you're reinventing yourself post Rona. <laughs> okay, so uh, it says be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Okay, so some of you guys have went inward, um, figured out what did work and what doesn't work, and now you're moving forward. Okay, and in doing so, you are cello fucking braiding, partying. Okay. Kicking it, parlaying, making a move. You got people that's interested in you. You got people that's eyeing you. And you are giving them attention. What is it? Like, I can literally see, like, a motherfucker moving to the club. What it is. Ho What's up? Okay, fucking fire signs. Turn up. Turn all the way up. It says, you are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. Okay, so you're ready for the new new. All right. And then what we have towards the middle of the month, unity. But it might not be a relationship. Let's see what we're talking about. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. See, that's the energy that I was talking about. Like, you come in out of that Phoenix energy where you were inward. Um, you were really taking a look at some of the things that were serving you and what wasn't serving you. And now, you feeling yourself. Like, for real, for real, feeling yourself. Like, well, what's up? <laughs> um... 
coming out of a period of time where there was a hiccup, a mountain, okay? A mountain meaning that there's an obstacle there, okay? So it says, know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. So um, basically, as far as your month goes, and this is kind of coming from February, like rocky, 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 fun, 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 party, 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 hell, motherfucking, yeah, kick it, kick it, kick it. And then we're going into a little bit of rockiness, okay? So um, I'll go ahead and clarify with tarot. But at the bottom of the deck, I see the lover's card, which means that you're going to have to make a decision between two people, okay? Two people, two significant others. Um, and I see you probably going with the newest one, all right? Not necessarily the person that you've done this with before. I see you taking a brand new beginning, a fiery beginning, and moving towards it really quickly. Oh, hey, Daddy. What's up? <laughs> All right. Fire signs. What's up? Let's see what's going on. Um, There's somebody that is sad or, you know, thinking about you, feeling like they missed out on opportunity, or you're feeling this was the energy that you had beforehand, okay? Because remember I was telling you February was like, nah. The energy was like, mm. not that wonderful, not the best. But it could literally be you coming out of that energy. Um, I'm not liking that person. Not caring for them as much. Um, and even blocking them. You could have blocked them when they had you blocked or something like that. Or the energy was blocked or it was very weird, okay? So, let's go ahead and clarify Let's clarify the mountain card. I'm more so interested in that than anything. All right. Okay. So your intuition is going to be popping once this shit pops off, okay? You'll see it. You'll see it from your third eye. You'll feel it from your third eye before, like, the obstacle even pops up. So just know that you got, like, the inside scoop on it. Tell me more about the mountain. What's the obstacle? Okay. It's in regards to love, okay? Um, yeah, it's in regards to love and establishing a long-term relationship, okay? For some reason, the loving relationship is rocky and it's hard to do. Maybe that's the reason why you're going to be making a decision between two people. Um, one of these relationships, um, there's like a spiritual marriage kind of associated with it. Um, however, let's see. Let's see if we get some more information about it. Tell me more. And one, one is like really fun and one is like, oh, it's not that fun. <laughs> it's not that fun. Okay. Um, however, if you decide to choose this relationship, it will move forward, but very slowly. Sorry about that. Um, it's going to move forward, but it's going to move forward very slowly. Uh, seems like there's a passionate beginning. There's a lot of sexual energy there, a lot of creative energy there. Um, yeah, that's basically what we got going on. Okay. <laughs> So that's the relationship that's a little tough. I would go ahead. Let's go ahead and clarify and see what's up with the other relationship. Tell me more. Tell me more about this one. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is going to be somebody that's easy to be around. Feels like you've known them before. There's a lot of passion there, too. Could be younger than you, okay? So you're going to be stuck on the fence and deciding whether or not you want to move forward. Could be another fire sign. But whoever this person is, they're fiery. And they, like, tickle your heartstrings. And they make you feel like, you know, they make you feel good, okay? They make you happy. The other person... Not so much with the happiness stuff, um, but there's an immense amount of sexual tension there, okay? So, there's comfort, and then there's passion, new passion, and then there's not comfortable, and there's a lot of passion. So, you know, you decide what you want to do. All right, let's go ahead and shoot on over into the Aries reading, okay? Because that was just a fire sign reading. Let's see what spirit has specifically for my wonderful Aries. 
Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. My baby is an Aries. My little pumpkin. My pumpkin. He's not a pumpkin, though. When I say baby, my nine-year-old is an Aries. <laughs> He's awesome. My mom is an Aries. All of my aunts on my mom's side are Aries, okay? So I'm very familiar with your energy, to say the least. I like it a little bit. <laughs> I'm surrounded by fire. I like it. I like it. I like it. You hear Mason in the background walking around. I, I really can't stop playing that song. What it is, hope. What's up? I think this is like strongly for the Aries. Aries, you're gonna be out kicking it. Um, if I had some Aries girlfriends that were old enough to kick it with me, don't worry, I would be kicking it with y'all ass because I can already tell you're gonna be having fun. Okay, don't have fun without me. <laughs> what uh, source are changes ancestor spirit guys any of the divine life beings with the Aries collective best interest at hand what um what energy will the Aries be facing during the month of March 2020 okay Aries the love card came out the ace of cups so dealing with some self-love dealing with um new energy surrounding love Someone's coming in to extend an emotional offer or their emotional hand. But watch out because this motherfucker is a liar. Okay. So they see you. They like you. Um, they're kind to you. It seems as though they want to extend friendship to you. Gentle peace to you. But... They lying about something. Okay, with the Seven of Swords being here, there's a mask on, okay? Something just doesn't feel right. Um, clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is this here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? For my Aries. Oh, Three of Swords. There's another person in the motherfucking picture. Okay. There's another person in the picture. That's what they're lying about. Tell me more. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. I said the three swords. I didn't mean it. Okay, this could be a very toxic situation. Okay, seven of cups being here. Toxic situation. Look, you know, I just want you to take a look at this card and look at the cups. Okay, look at all that green, ooey, gooey stuff. It's a very sticky situation to get involved in. However, there is love here. It's just that the love that is here is toxic. And it doesn't help you grow. And then there's another person involved in it. And they're a liar. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my good. Aries, dodge this. And go kick it. Don't do that. Tell me more. What else will the Aries um, collective be facing during the month of March? Is there anything else? Oh. Okay. So... I see you going into a very meditative space as you move forward from the situation with this person. Could have been some heartbreak. So after the three of swords comes a four of swords. And that's just like healing and recouping after battle. After being hurt. Okay. So you're getting your shit together after being hurt. That's pretty much what it is. And then you're popping off and going into this very fruitful, sunny energy. The sun card. The most positive card in the deck. Okay. Well, this means is that there's happiness. There's good stuff coming. It's joy. It's party. It's laughter. It's like refreshing. It's refreshing after dealing with this heavy energy. And then this is when that six of cups comes in. So the six of cups was represented by um, a reunion with somebody... Because remember, I did the fire sign collective. So this is a reunion with somebody that feels good, that feels comfortable, feels light, feels fluffy, feels open with their emotions. And you just can do it with this person, okay? So after the rain comes sunshine, all right? So that was your reading, Aries. If it resonated, please feel free to comment below, whether you're on IG or YouTube. Um, I welcome, welcome, welcome that. And if you're on YouTube, please hit the heart button like it show me some love if you're on ig i'm sorry not ig if you're on youtube go ahead and click the thumbs up show me some love that way like it when you like the video it circulates and it gets to more people okay so thank you aries we're gonna go ahead and go into the leo collective 
see what's going on with the Leo. Hey, Agape. Agape clothing, what's up? Taurus, Archangels, and Texas Spirit, guys. Any of you find that? Be with the Leo collectors. Best interest at hand. What is the energy? One of the Leo collective during the month of March 2021. Okay, Leo. Seems like you are your intuition is gonna be popping. Okay. I'm well. Thank you for asking. How are you? Happy Sunday, fun day. <laughs> Beginning of March, spring equinox is coming. Oh, goodness. Okay, Leo, you guys are basically um, in a space where relationships are super balanced. A lot of equal give and take, um, especially when it comes down to work, okay? Very solid foundations. And then we got a little bit of partying. All right, three of cups being here. Celebrations, kicking it with family, friends. But just look at the beauty in this card. Look at all that juiciness um, surrounding those cups. Those cups are overflowing. It's a very fun um, experience, a very fun, loving environment. Could be with a loved one, could be with um, a significant other. But whatever the case is, you kicking it and you're enjoying yourself. You're also healing, all right? I can clarify to see what you're healing from specifically. However, I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck a lover. So a relationship, a strong, spiritual, passionate relationship with a significant other is in the forefront. Is in the forefront during this month, okay? Leo, did you get bit by the bug? You got bit by the love bug. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's clarify. What is Leo healing from? I'm sorry. What is the Leo collective healing from? Tell me more. Okay, so for some of you guys, you guys are choosing yourself over choosing another person. Okay. No, Sagittarius. That's Sagittarius, right? No, Sagittarius are next, honey. Because I'm doing the fire sign collective. I think that's the Sagittarius sign. Sorry. Um, let me know if that's what it is. What's up, Rox? Okay, so for sure, this is in regards to healing from a relationship. Okay? Leo, um, this person is going to be coming forth. Oh, I never noticed that. Peacocks will be important for you guys during this month. So if you are a Leo, um, please take out the time to check out what the spiritual significance is for a peacock. Okay, so this person is coming back in. They're apologizing. Guess what? You didn't need their apology in order to heal. But they were backstabbing. They were cruel to you. They were mean to you. They didn't have your best interest at hand. And you are walking away from them. It seems like they're going to be reaching out. A lot of text messages. A lot of uh, emails. Fast, quick communication. They'll probably be on your line calling you. Trying to figure out what it is that you're doing. I see you as being unbothered. But unbothered in regards to like love. So... I don't know. I just kind of see you moving forward, but moving forward with another person. Moving in another energy with somebody that feels good. Like, they energetically feel good. And they make you feel like the fucking king that you are, okay? They make you, they make your lion-esque or your lion energy fucking roar. Tell me more. Yeah, no. Like, this person is extending themselves to you with the Princess of Cups here. They're extending themselves to you. They like you. You like them. Emotions are popping. Um, this is not the old person. This is a new person. All right? Communication is clear. It's easy to understand. Um, there's no confrontation. Like, you know, you had to make a decision and it seems like you went with the person that you wanted to establish a new beginning with and it's solid and it feels clear and it feels strong and there's a lot of happiness there. And then you guys like to drink together. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and go into the Saggies. All right, so I'm going to cleanse this real quick. See what's going on with the Sagittarius. Yeah, you know what? I don't really know. 
Agape, I don't really know those signs and all that stuff. Like, the little signs for the zodiac. You would think so, but I'm not into astrology, like, super heavy. So, a lot of that shit, I'm like, well, let me look it up and see what it is. Mm-mm-mm. I am on a juicing fast. That's my dinner. I got a little hungry, and it was staring at me. So, I had to fuck with it for a little bit. The kale-based smoothie. I've been on a fast for about five days. I am going up until Monday because I'm changing how I eat and changing the amount of nutrients that I'm getting. Okay. Oh, I appreciate you too. Thanks for popping in on me. All right, swords are changing the ancestor spirit, guys. And any other divine life means with the Sagittarius Collective, best interest in hand. What's up with the Saggies during the month of March? Tell me, tell me, tell me. What messages do you have for the Sagittarius? In the month of March, seems like you guys are building um, heavy focus into work. Learning a little bit more. Yeah, I get it. Sometimes it's, it's easier to like say you're going to get back on juicing. And then once you do it, it's like that easy. Bam. There you go. It's all yours. Okay. All right, let's check this out because everything just exploded out for the freaking uh, Sagittarius people. Okay. Super ambitious. Super and fucking ambitious. Look at you sitting in your power, sitting in that passionate energy, unbothered. Okay. Very intelligent, manifesting things left and right. Your intuition is fucking popping. Unbothered, passionate, and everybody see you. You being the queen of wands. Everybody sees that you're action-oriented. Everybody sees you shining. You sexy. You fine. Okay? You've been doing the inner work, and it's radiating on the outside, okay? After a period of going inward. The hermit card being here. You might have, like... Giving people the silent treatment, went inward, did some studying, like a cult study and stuff like that. I'm learning a little bit more about manifesting, learning a little bit more about yourself, okay? And the energy that you have put in this has made you fucking victorious. Look at that, six of wands. This is the fucking month for you. You're winning. You're fucking winning. You hear me? Six of wands, baby. Victory. You winning, boo? <laughs> Look at that. Your intuition is popping. Your emotions are stable. They're intact. You got, you're got. you going to have people coming at you out of the woodworks, okay? Because you got this shit sold. Okay, Sagittarius? Come through. And check it out. Somebody is um le looking around and they lurking. They want to give you some good dick, okay? This is my good dick card, all right? But this also means that there are powerful new beginnings. You are shining. Your aura is shining. You're the fucking star. You're able to manifest and bring in whatever desires it is that you wish to bring in. And guess what? It's coming in after a period of going inward, after a period of ghosting the world, okay? Leaving the world um, on the back burner. Not really talking to friends, not really talking to family. Money, finances might not have been the best, okay? But you're coming out of this energy. And when you emerge out of this energy, you emerge out of it phenomenally. Like, what the fuck is this? Damn Sagittarius? For real. <laughs> I love it. I love this energy, guys. Um, Self-love is popping. Self-love is popping. Watch this. Watch this motherfucking month. March, it's going to cut up on you, okay? I know it's been a little low-key. You've been a little low-key. You've been quiet. But guess what? When you come out, you are going to explode out. And that probably was you at the club kicking it with that music. I see you just like radiating hella attention. Individuals are going to be coming towards you. They want to extend themselves towards you, okay? I love it, Sagittarius. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I got to find a Sagittarius girlfriend to go kick it with. All right. Now, one thing I wanted to let you guys know, don't be too defensive, okay? There are going to be a lot of people that are um, trying to get your attention. I do see you as being like, mm, no, not you. Mm, no, not you. No. Mm. Okay. Don't be so quick to dismiss everybody left and right, all right? Um, pay attention a little bit more. Don't be so defensive. 
All right, that's the only thing I can say. Just don't be super defensive, but your aura is popping. You're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful month. Um, if it resonates, please feel free to comment below. Um, if you like the video, please feel free to, if you're on IG, hit the heart button. If you're on uh, YouTube, click the thumbs up. But um, if you wanna book a personal reading, information is gonna be below this video. If you're on YouTube, um, you can also DM me or you can go to Light Magic Tarot to book a reading. Other than that, guys, have a wonderful month. Have a phenomenal month, fire signs. I love you, love you, love you. And I'll see you next time.